Um, Thank you. Africa for the Africans. Good afternoon and welcome to Every Botanic Gardens. Thank you. I Thank think you. Uh, we need to have a place to stand so that I can greet you about the history. Okay. First, before we take a walk. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes, family. We're at every botanical garden in the gardens. And once you get started um, walking, uh, we need the express route. That way we can be out of here by four o'clock the latest. Can you work that time? Yeah. yeah. That way, yeah. So a nice 30 minute uh, okay. tour. Okay. Good afternoon and welcome. Yes, family, come closer. Yeah, the garden has a history, as I said, and I would like to greet you before we take a walk to the trees. In Aburi Botanic Gardens, we are specifically working with plants, uh, indigenous plants and non-indigenous ones, edible plants and non-edible plants, and also medicinal value plants and uh, food aspects. That's so we, yeah, so we are going to walk to those trees so that we can identify them really. Now, the garden was uh, officially opened in the year 1890 by the British Empire. When they came down, before, they collaborated with the Basel Mission and had a plot of 160 acres for planting cocoa. But on the way coming, they got to know that the cocoa was not helpful, so they decided to let back home and had a meeting in House of Commons so that the whole entire farm could be changed to botany as we are seeing here today. So when they came back in 1875, they spotted the highest point of the garden, which has a total figure above sea level, 1,500 feet, and in meters is 649 meters above sea level. So as they were sitting there for their meetings and programs, they saw that there was, the whole place was a forest which they saw that there was a tree which was out of their orders. So they got near and then decided to measure 30 acres around the, the matured tree. So they cleared all the trees and left that tree, which became the mother plant in the garden here. As I'm speaking, that tree is dead, lining down, which we are going to see the dry wood of it. And also the estimated age given to that tree was 600 years plus. Now, the name of that tree is called Cyber Pentandra. The common name is silk cotton tree or Kipok. It's originated to South America and then the Ghana here. It grows very well in Ghana here. Now, when after grading the whole 30 acres, they demarcated into 10, which had, uh, gave us 10 lawns. And each lawn has a species of plants. Now, in the year 1924, there was another uh, governor who was called Sir Gordon Guggesbeck. When he came and met the first tree, he named after the wife called Lady Natford. And also the first post office built in the then Gold Coast was built in Aburi here, which is mounted in the garden here. And in 1924, as I was going to say, the Sir Gordon Guggesbeck came and built, planted a tree which also had 96 years, which can be viewed from here. That is the tallest tree mounted over there. We'll be going to have a look at all those trees. Now, in the year 1967, there was a war in our sister country called Nigeria, and there was a civil war there called Biafra War. And it was between two army generals, and this is where they invited them to sign the peace accord for Nigerians to have their peace. So anywhere you'll be walking and hearing about uh, a Buri Accord concerning Nigerians, it was signed over here. As we are going to walk, I'll find the place where they signed the accord for you to witness. Now, as I've already said, there are some trees which was originated to other countries. So as we are going to go around, we'll hear a tree's name sounding like a country's name. For instance, Senegalensis, Indica, Chinese, Madascarensis, and so on and so forth. 
And because of your time, I'll pause here for the history, then we start working to that piece. You once again welcome. Thank you. Now, this very plant you see here in Boki is called Bed of Paradise. All right, we're in the right Bed place. Bed of Paradise. And it can be used for all flower arrangements. It was introduced by a certain person from UK called Helen Konia. So when he introduced it, then they named after her called Helen Konia Bed of Paradise. It multiplies from the roots. Okay. It looks like Was a, that a white woman? Yeah, it's a white a woman. A white devil. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> so we are gonna go around and then we <laughs> I'm gonna really I'm gonna rename this uh, Queen Sheba. <laughs> okay, let's go. By the powers of best of me. Yeah, uh, 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 this two that she brought it, but uh, they didn't sell. That's why they are. Because it had to be a trap one, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the 